Roll up, ladies and gentlemen, and pardon this circus-style welcome, because this is Moscow, and those Kremlin domes and those clownish colours forewarn you that, politics apart, this is a capital city in the entertainment world. That's Moscow's new university, where 4,500 rooms are devoted to sober learning. But Moscow can do better than that. Moscow's often all too serious, but it can be gay, and as we say, entertaining. You go to school to find this out. Those kids are wearing the standard Russian school uniform, so come and see what their school day teaches them in this thoroughly topsy-turvy corner of a delicately balanced world. That all seems normal enough. So far, their lessons don't look so different from school classes at home. But what's this? Gymnastics? That teacher used to be a star in the Bolshoi Ballet. She's teaching deportment now. Yet this isn't a ballet school. It is, in fact, a unique school that is also a university in itself. For you start here at the age of 12 and graduate when you're 20, if you can stay the course. And there's your clue. This is the world's one and only circus school. Half your time here is spent on straightforward schoolwork, and that's just part of the curriculum, because see what happens when they're away from those schoolroom desks. That's when the most telling of the circus school studies begin. Just follow them. Three thousand hopefuls try to join this academy each year. Only ninety promising ones are accepted. But before they graduate, a quarter of them have to be weeded out. The others join Russia's seventy permanent circuses. And this is the school that produces the top world-class circus stars, like Popov, the famous clown. Watch the end-of-term concert in the circus school ring. You'll find enthusiasm everywhere, not always perfection. Well, that's how it goes. You can certainly learn your lessons the hard way here. Top graduate this year is a young master of mime, Leonid Yangibarov. So take a close look at him and see if you can spot quality as he goes through his routine and seems to get a kick out of it all. Straight from the circus school, he goes to star in Moscow State Circus's new show as the most versatile clown there's ever been. Hold everything. This is the first night of the world's number one circus, shared this year by the Moscow audience and Pathé Pictorial. It's a circus that turns your head. But that man on stilts is not a simple landing base for tumblers. Just see him in action himself. And he's done it. He's achieved the improbable. Sit back and simply drink the skill of it all in. Every artist here learned at that extraordinary circus school to do every other artist's act. So these balances are tumblers too. And in case you think you've seen everything new in the circus, get ready for the steep sloping tightrope act. Of course, an act like this can't escape the attention of a clown like Leonid.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, stand by for the fastest, cleanest transformation scene that there's ever been. Now, here's a dog who never misses a trick, except when no one's watching. And make way for two of his chums who reckon their act will be a knockout. These two brilliant young jugglers haven't been long out of that same famous circus school. You can see that from one look at their baby faces. Yet today they are indisputably the tops. Not to be outdone by anyone but Leonid the Clown. Bravo! But hold back your cheers for half a minute. Leonid Yangibarov hasn't quite finished yet. It's time now for Irena Bugramova. And when they've got a cage of nylon net up, a lion act that starts with love scenes. Dudley creatures they seem. And little girl thinks they'd make pets that would jump about like kittens. You don't see how spiteful these big cats can really be until you've got one of them on the sloping tightrope. That tightrope leads to the top of the cage. That lioness could take a leap into the audience. This is a circus that literally sweeps you off your feet. 